In this video, we're going to talk about converting rectangular equations to a polar equation. So to do this, you need to realize that x is equal to r cosine theta in polar, and y is equal to r sine theta in polar. So all you have to do is to rectangular equation, insert these for x and y, and then solve, and you'll have your rectangular equation. So let's do an example. We have x squared plus the quantity y minus 4 squared equals 16. So we're going to substitute in r cosine theta for x and r sine theta for y. So that will give us r cosine theta squared plus r sine theta minus 4 squared is equal to 16. So now let's simplify. So our r cosine theta that squared is r squared cosine squared theta plus, now we need to multiply out the r sine theta minus 4 squared, which will give you r squared sine squared theta minus 8r sine theta plus 16, and that will equal to 16. So now we need to solve for r. So first start by subtracting 16 from both sides which will just give you r squared cosine squared theta plus r squared sine squared theta minus 8r sine theta equal to 0. Now let's move our 8r sine theta to the other side by adding to both sides. And that gives us r squared cosine squared theta plus r squared sine squared theta is equal to 8r sine theta. So now if we see on our left side we have an r squared common on both for both of the terms. So let's factor that out. So then we're left with cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta in the parentheses. So recognize that this portion right here, cosine squared plus sine squared theta, is equal to 1 using a Pythag Pythagorean identity. So now we have r squared times 1 is equal to 8r sine of theta. We have r's on both sides, so we can divide each side by r. And we will be left with r is equal to 8 sine theta. So now we have solved for r, and we have taken our rectangular equation and put it into a polar equation.